So let's create a new folder called components. And there we can create the navbar. JS, switch to Beam. Open this file here. This will be called navbar. And we want to show that in the app. Let's delete this. Alrighty, save this. And let's import this component. Oops. Uh, it will be navbar. It will be on the components folder. And it's called navbar. And we should see just a little navbar message. So Tailwind has many utility classes. Uh, if you go to the website, uh, you can check uh, all the different class names. Um, sometimes I don't remember the exact name, so I just Google the the CSS uh, property that I want that I want to use, and you usually get the name of the utility class for that property. It's important that you know CSS before trying to use Tailwind. I think I would recommend that. All right. So now let's start with the navbar component. Okay, so for the navbar component, um, I will use a, an app tag that will be this part here. Uh, I will also use a container from uh, Tailwind. Uh, it will be centered and uh, I will split this in, in, a, in three parts. One for the logo, another for the input search and another for these icons here. So let's go to Beam and go to the navbar. Let's create a nav tag. Uh, this will be a sticky because if you remember the Instagram website has a sticky navbar as you can see when you scroll down. So we need that to be sticky. Uh, it will be a sticky navbar. Uh, we also want it to be full width. I think I can use uh, W full here. Let me see. It doesn't break. Top zero, full. Yeah, it works fine. Okay. And it will be. It will take the full width of the of the nav. Um, I also want that to be. Uh, have a border uh, at the bottom, one pixel. Uh, I also want that to be uh, with the Z index of 50, because uh, sometimes it can go behind things, behind other elements. And uh, inside this, um, I want a container. And that container will have a max width because uh, the containers in Tailwind have different breakpoints. So I don't want to use that particular uh, size for the for the container. So I will constrain that to a width. This is Phi. I will use Phi XL, which is something like 10, 24 pixels. Okay. And inside this container is where we have the three uh, items for the three different elements. Oh, sorry, no. Inside this, we will have the flex container. So it will be uh, flex. It will be flex row. Uh, it will be, uh, you have a padding, uh, the top and bottom of one pixel. And you will also have uh, the item center. Okay, and here is where we have the three elements. So we will have uh, one div for uh, the logo. I'm going to use basis uh, one third, which is basically the initial width of the flesh uh, item will, will be 33%. Uh, and uh, I will add some padding to the left. Um, and I want this to be like uh, without padding 
uh, when it goes to the larger uh, to the large breakpoint. Okay, okay. This is what breaks the the Emmet uh, auto completion. So let's do it like no, yeah, I can use this. Okay, let's do that manually. Yeah, basis uh, one third. And as you can see, I have uh, auto completion for these utility classes. This is a, a little beam uh, plugin. Uh, obviously, you use Visual Studio Code. There's there's some plugins for that too. So I recommend that. And let's close this div. And let's create two more. And let's put here logo. Um, so this will be the input search. And here we have the icons. Okay, so let's check out that in the browser. Here. We can see the different elements. Um, something important, this container uh, by, by default is not center. So we need to add something else to the config. Let me actually add some background so we can see that. So as you can see, the, the container is not center. So we need to go to the config here and add something else to center the element. Let me get that from my final code. Container center. So now this should be center, as we can see here. So now let's go back to beam and remove this. Okay, so now we can start adding these elements. Okay, so for this logo, we need an image tag. Um, we will have a, in the we will have the image in the images. It will be called logo Instagram. It's an SVG. This will be logo, and let's set a width of one twenty. And I need to copy that from my final project. Let me copy quickly that. Okay, so now that file is in the folder called images in the public folder. And so now we have the logo. So now let's work on the input. But before that, um, there's something we need here. We need to Im import the font ASON icons. So on the app component, uh, I need to import some uh, other components. I will copy that from here, so it's easier. Um, I need to import this, um, these components. This is uh, not a really a recommended way because this will import everything, all the different icons. In a real world project, you should basically import each icon individually. But for this tutorial, I will just use this because it is here. So let's copy this and add this here. So this will basically import all the icons. And let's save this. And now we are ready to use the icons on the navbar. Uh, let me create another. Oh, sorry. I need to first import the the font as on uh, component here. So this is called font as on icon from react font as on. That's correct. And here and now I can use that component. It will be font as on. Uh, the icon will be a magnifying glass. This one. And 
the class name will be um, position absolute here and I want it to be about three rams to the left and three to the right sorry to the top and I want that icon to be gray 300 Alrighty. Another thing I need is uh, a div here to make it relative so I can position absolute the other element. Okay, let's move these two things here. And uh, I forgot to close uh, one div. Uh, oh, this one. Okay, check out that on the browser, it looks close, let's go back to Beam, and um, let's see, for the input field, I want to add some more classes here, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Want to add some padding to all the different directions, top, left, right, bottom. Uh, we want to make this uh, a gray, gray background. Uh, we want to be rounded with the large, uh, the large uh, corners. And we want this to be uh, 80. 80 rams width and some padding to the left to align in the middle of the vertical space I need to make this wider And what else? Uh, I need to remove the focus that the browser adds by default. That blue uh, focus border. And I want to make the font a little bit uh, lighter than the default. So I will use this utility class uh, placeholder and the font light. Okay. And now this looks a lot better, very close to the real one. Okay, so now let's work on the icons. Let's delete this. And um, I want to have uh, an order list tag for this. And some. Um, child list elements here uh, the ul will be uh, a flex uh, container uh, direction will be row i want to have some space between the elements of four in the x-axis i want to add some padding to and I want to make this text to Excel. Let me see if I can see the. Okay, no. Um, I usually just try different sizes. It's basically like a try and error, but you can go to the documentation and, and see the exact size that is that this converts to. Um, I want to have another. Uh, justify and sorry so the the elements are vertically center and also horizontally center okay and each of these list uh, elements will be a will contain an icon 
So let's add um, one will be the uh, the house, the home icon. First, let's add this anchor link with the pointer utility class. So we have uh, uh, the the little hand icon when you mouse over. And uh, this will be a font awesome component, and we want the house icon. Okay. Oops. Save this. Let's go back to the browser, and we have the icon there. So let's repeat this for the other, the other icons. Uh, we actually don't need this thing here. And okay, the other icon is uh, have a different props. So when you want to use uh, basically a, a different icon than um, a solid one, the one with the that is basically filled with uh, something, like for example this one, this is filled with black. So if you, if you want to use the other ones that are not filled, you have to use uh, a different prop here. Basically you, you passed uh, an array. And you say you want to form a some regular icon. Oops, something happened there. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you pass the name of the icon, which is comment dots okay you can see the icon is not filled uh, let's do another one this one is a square plus square plus which is to add uh, to add post and what else we have a compass one that is used for um, searching for browsing just compass and the last one is a heart icon so you can see your your likes the post that you have like it and this is just called heart let's check out this yeah this looks good and also we need another icon one is one that is used for the profile so let's add here another extra li and this one this will be uh, this won't be an icon this will be an image and let me see so I, I will just copy this from my final code because it's basically uh, an image from my github account so it's basically the image and, and i'm applying this utility utility class to make it rounded and with a widow uh, six which i don't really exactly know how much it is it's like 60 or 100 pixels something like that and you, you can see here